don't even know what to say. This shit is crazy. I'm perched over looking Hell's Canyon. Sun is setting behind me. And down there, my friends, is Hell's Canyon. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. I mean, I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice. I found myself a place to camp. There's the trusty steed. Got my camp set up. So far, I've seen elk poop. What I think is probably coyote poop, because I'm pretty sure cougars bury their poop. Um, there was a hawk perched in a tree right over there. And when I got here, it was talking to me for quite a while. So we had a little chat. It was fun, informative. Very chattery. I think I have a video. Yeah, feeling pretty good, 2020. There's the old tent, and there's the sun going down. I'm just hoping that I can have a nice fire and no cougars are gonna come out of the woods and jump on my back and bite my neck in half. Yarrow. Picked it this morning. I dried it on the dash of my car while I was driving. And I'm gonna try to make some yarrow tea. I've got my coffee filter here with a stick through it. I'm just gonna try to strain it uh, and see what yarrow tea is like. Just put a little bit in there. They say that some people are mildly allergic to yarrow and the oils in it. So just a little first go to see how I feel about it. Um, it's supposed to be very medicinal. Native Americans have prized it for centuries apparently for its um, healing properties. It's good as a poultice if you like mash, mash it up or put it on wounds and things like that. We're gonna see what happens. So the ROT pretty good um kind of bitter it's sort of like a bitter chamomile yeah it's not bad um i'm not allergic reactioning so that's good sure to drink lots of water and pee all around my camp last night uh, in case there were any cougars or bears or elk or coyotes possibly wolves but I don't think so but maybe I think they're all on the other side of the river in the Blue Mountains but who knows there might be wolves too so I peed all around my camp let them know the human was here and I played guitar for 20 minutes around the campfire, at least, loud singing. Just to let everybody know the humans are here. Human coming, human walking, human talking. Make myself a part of the landscape and feel good about it. Day four, haven't seen another person until I saw like some dune buggy drive by about eight o'clock this morning as I was drinking my coffee. Very remote. I made the mistake of listening to Lars Larson on the radio because it was literally the only thing I could get on the radio here in uh, the Willaba Valley. And he had some attorney general from Louisiana on, and they were talking about all the communists and all the anarchists. And that's their that's their boogie word. That's just it's ridiculous. I mean, equal rights isn't communism. Simple as that.
just passed mile marker three of what I believe is a 29 mile drive like this. El Canyon, dirt road, lots of potholes to the Grand Ronde River Valley. It did say passenger cars not recommended, um, though I usually, rarely in fact, ever let that stop me. Anyway, this drive is crazy. It is so beautiful. I am, wow. All right, so this stuff, man, I hate this stuff. Where the road just gets this big, turns into rocks. I feel like, I gotta go so slow to protect my tires. I don't know if you can see just kind of how it's not really a dirt road or a gravel road anymore, it's a sharp rock road. <laughs> so I'll be going slow. So as to not get a flat tire. I really hope we don't have to do what it's gonna be now, 23 more miles of this. just passed, uh, I think it was mile marker nine. I <laughs> couldn't really tell. It was all rubbed off. But at least I'm on the right road. Oh boy. So it continues. You know, it's been 20 minutes maybe since my last one. I've gone maybe a mile, I don't know, not even a mile. <laughs> Moving slow. This road has got my butthole puckered up pretty damn tight. Worried about a rock going through my tires. Other than that, car's capable, should be okay. <sighs> Haven't seen a mile marker sign in a while, but I'm a little bit eyes on the road. All right, here we go. I think you can probably hear them. Right there. Yeah, I think you have a, I think you might have a nest right there. And you're probably telling me to get away from your nest. Bye. Taking a little break by a stream. It's hot. And I'm freaked out. This little car is kicking ass. Everything's working fine so far. Onward. Whew. Don't know if you can tell, but those are thistles. It's pretty much a thistle forest on this side. And the blackberry forest on this side. Blackberries, blackberries, blackberries. Believe it or not, the road has gotten significantly better. And we have gone so much lower. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see that? It's a wild, is that a turkey? A ptarmigan? What the heck is that? It's moving fast though. I'm trying to catch it. Whoa! County, I believe that means I am in Washington. I'll be happy to go 35. Thank you very much. Just turned a corner, came down out of my canyon where the little creek I was following hits the Grand Ronde River. I guess that means that was 29 miles, folks. 